I, I want to talk to you a little bit about nifaq, hypocrisy. Now, hypocrisy, nifaq in Arabic, it means uh, to dig a tunnel, to submerge oneself so that others don't know from where you will emerge. Al Imam al Nawawi and Al Ghazali, they use this imagery where they say it's like a rat who burrows but makes an escape hatch so that when the snake falls him in, he thinks he's trapped him. But in fact, that rat knows how to get out from a predetermined exit. That's munafiq. That's the hypocrite. That's the word in Arabic. Nifaq was not known to the Arab up until the bi'tha of our Nabi Muhammad Al Arab, they used to pride themselves on, you know, we spoke a little bit about it, muru'a, chivalry, manliness. Muru'a is, it's not about doing what's right and wrong, it's what doing, it is about doing what is most right out of what is right. That's muru'a. That you don't just choose what's right from what's wrong, but you choose what is the most right from what is right. This is a distinguished higher mode of thinking of a believer. The, the Mushrikeen of Quraysh, they used to pride themselves on this muru'ah, that their word would not be brought to the ground, that their promise would be kept, even if it meant that the one that they were speaking about or questioned about was their avowed en enemy. Abu Sufyan, radiallahu anhu, before he was Muslim, when he stood in front of Hiraq, Heraclius, in, in, in Syria, and he's asked about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Lawla, had it not been nafaran min qawmi, that there were people from my tribe who were standing behind me, who I thought they would think of me as a deceiver and a liar, I would have lied. Look at him. He's asked about Muhammad. He spoke the truth. Why? He didn't want his countrymen to think, don't ever trust Abu Sufyan again. He's a liar. He lied about Muhammad, even though they all hated Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They didn't have nifaq. Nifaq emerged after the hijrah. The mushrikeen before the hijrah, they hated the Prophet. They would say, we hate you sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After the hijrah, there was duplicity. And there were people who pretended to believe when in fact in their heart, they disbelieved. And this is nifaq al-akbar, major nifaq. That a person has no faith, but claims to have faith. And those individuals the Prophet left be. And Umar would say to him, Ya Rasulullah, Allah has informed you who they are. You know that they are disbelievers and munafiqoon. In their heart there is no iman, and you know them by name. Ya Rasulullah, let's dispatch them, get rid of them. The Prophet ﷺ teaches us a principle in our faith that we deal people with the outward. You never look into a person's heart because you cannot. You don't say, I know inside he is this. I know inside he hates me. I know inside he hates Islam. I know inside he's an unbelief. No. The Prophet ﷺ said, Lam Umar, I was not ordered to open a person's chest and look into their heart. Let them be. There was a mind that was major nifaq. Unbelief, but pretended to believe. You, do you know what it is, my dear brothers? These munafiqeen at the time of the Prophet ﷺ would come and pray behind him. Sallallahu alayhi wa The munafiq, the one who disbelieved, would wake up for fajr and come to the masjid. You can, sometimes within our communities of believers, you find people who cannot even resemble the munafiq. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raja. You find people who just snooze right through fajr. They cannot even reach that level of hypocrisy. La ilaha illallah. The minor level of hypocrisy is what this is, is, is seen in signs. Now, I want you to understand, sometimes people misunderstand these hadith. Where the Prophet ﷺ says, كَمَا عِنْدَ الْإِمَامُ مُسْلِمْ آيَةُ الْمُنَافِقِ The sign of a hypocrite. These are signs, means it's not because they do this, they are hypocrites. There's other things they do that make them hypocrites. But these signs, they manifest themselves beyond their control. A hypocrite cannot ever hide it. Because he's a hypocrite. What are these signs? He cannot control it. When he speaks, he lies. Even though he doesn't want to lie, he will lie. Cannot control it. Why? Because in his heart, there is that susceptibility to hypocrisy. You trust him, he betrays. 
witnesses betrays. In another riwayah, there's four characteristics, four signs. The fourth one, إِذَا خَاصَ مَفَجَرَ When he disputes with you, he's overboard. He goes too far. It's not just normal abuse. He goes way over than what you would expect for a particular situation or circumstance.